Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, welcome to Dev with Excel. Alright, so last year I took a course on full stack development and it teaches everything you need to know about front end and back end using JavaScript, right? Now here is here is the thing. I did this course using a site or a platform called Full Stack Open. Alright, okay. So Full Stack Open is a platform, it's a site that teaches front end and back end all combined, right? It teaches the entire full stack and it's a course made by University of Helsinki, Finland. Now this is the sweet part of this. This course is totally free, right? You don't need to pay time to actually take this course. Now, I'm not trying to be an ambassador of this program, but I'm just trying to tell you that I really gained a lot from it, right? And that has prompted me into solving, sharing my solutions, right? On almost all the exercises that I did. I didn't do all of the exercises because they are quite much because the program has, it begins with part zero and then stops at part 13 right so you can see all these these are all what it takes it takes react also it takes node js for backend react for front end node js for backend so when you take from part zero here and then you get to part four or part five you'll be given a certification right you'll be given a full stack certification now the you can choose to continue from part six and part seven. You can also take part nine as a separate course, right? So you, you really don't need to take any of these courses before you can take part nine. Part nine is based on TypeScript. You can choose to take TypeScript as a separate course. All right, so here is what I want to do, right? I have decided to share my solutions on YouTube, right? So. I won't be solving part zero because part zero deals with what it deals with the gen general introduction of the program and some exercises that really don't deal with coding, right? It talks about the U UML diagram and all that. Okay, so I'm going to be starting with part one. Now, this is the content of part one. Part one, as we have introduction to React, that's A. We have JavaScript component state event handlers, then D, which is the last section for part one, a more complex state debugging graph. Now, each of these sections they contain exercises, most of the sections, but a few of them don't contain. Here we can see that we have we have exercise 1.1 to 1.2 here, right? So I'm going to be taking or I'm going to be sharing my solutions how I solve my exercises and i'll be sharing it with us so see you in the next video